for their um in the previous video when I was doing crystal sets um using these headphones and I was just measuring the um DC resistance when I was doing all my calculations and I'd forgotten the uh, inductance factor and as you can see on the meter I'm measuring inductance it's uh, one kilohertz it's actually quite a high inductance um, over a Henry one 1012 milli Henry's so of course that's going to have a significant effect on the impedance and so all my calculations for the audio were probably all completely rubbish if I work out the in what the inductive um, reactances at one kilohertz it's to hang on two times pi times one exponent three times one point oh one two Henry's which actually comes to six point three K ohms that's the inductive reactance and I've forgotten what the formula is to add that to resistance I think you just add the two together but anyway if I um switch this thing measures induct uh, impedance so I switch it to impedance and it's actually saying the impedance at one kilohertz of these headphones is 7.9k and as I I was only listening to a very um, limited frequency range. I'm guessing most of what I was hearing is around one kilohertz on the crystal set. Um, so that's nearly 8K, that's quite a high impedance, even much higher than I expected. So, which is good because that was a, it's fairly high impedance, the output of the uh, crystal set. So nearly 8K isn't gonna load it. Of course, I can change the frequency of the uh, meter and I've only got three frequencies available on this model, but 100 hertz, it's down to 1.6K. So that just about makes sense. As you get nearer to uh, zero hertz or DC, you get um, basically just the uh, resistance is a main factor. Anyway, I'll go back to um, I can do 120 hertz as well, but that's no point. And 1k, uh, so it's 7.9k. So if I do my calculations again for the audio output, audio power output of the uh, what I was listening to on the crystal set, um, it was what 200 millivolts, 0.2 RMS um, squared divided by 7.9k so engineering so as far as I can see what I was listening to was only 5 microwatts that's an even amazingly small level of audio coming out of the headphones so I don't know it's just incredible if you ask me anyway just a short video the more I get into this stuff, the more mysteries are revealed or more questions that need to be asked. Anyway, bye for now.